the fuck is up? You already know what the fuck time it is. It's another episode of the Goddamn Nasty Sports Update. Today, we are sponsored, yet unsponsored by Campbell Soup. Because apparently a nigga like me done got chunky. Fuck all of y'all that think that way. Let's get into a few fucking topics. Lamar Jackson says, everybody at the motherfucking line of scrimmage is calling out his plays on defense. When you only got three fucking plays, that's what niggas can do. It's only fake handoff left, I run. Fake handoff right, I run. Fake handoff, I pass. Them niggas ain't calling out the plays, nigga. They just calling out what the fuck is finna happen. They know because it's only three fucking plays. Y'all niggas line up in the I formation, Mark Ingram, 32 blast. Y'all niggas line up in the goddamn single back formation, it's only two plays they can run. It's either gonna be uh run to to uh Henry or not Henry, but uh whatever the fuck this nigga named I just said this <laughs> or bootleg, nigga. It is what it is. Derrick Henry little brother, but big brother. Mark Ingram, my bad, shout out Michigan. But it's only gonna be a handoff to Ingram or a bootleg pass, nigga. Like, the fuck is we talking about? Y'all niggas need some more depth. Y'all line up and and, 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 and empty, and the motherfuckers know that they only got to have you in the pocket for three seconds, and then you taking off. You ain't really trying to make a, a super t- Like, we see all of the, the cutesy moves that you put on people and then make passes, but you got to be a more prophetic passer like a, like a uh, uh, dog from the Chiefs. You got to be more mahomes ass. Once you got to break that level, I think the thing about Deshaun Watson that he does have over you is that his pocket presence is way better. He just has a terrible, terrible team. Terrible offensive line. You Your offensive line ain't as terrible, but it is terrible. But you got much more weapons. You need to go to the lab and see what's going on. Looking at film. I'm sure you have, but nigga, you run a very basic, basic offense. And every year we done seen that that Wildcat shit from the inception of the Wildcat. That it only took a year and a half for niggas to catch on. And that shit was then a flash in the pan offense that maybe only came up once time, one time in the series instead of an entire series. Get that shit together, big fella. Dallas Cowboys and Michigan both losing in great fashion. Hilarious. Cowboys, you almost had it. You almost had it. The fishing pole and the dollar was right there. The old man still told you, oh, you got to be quicker than that. Got to be quicker than that, son. Michigan, smack. Smack. Throttle. Bombs. Our niggas asleep in the same bed. Give each other X Factor. No Des Bryant. No pause, because y'all niggas ain't pausing. Fuck boys. So long, gay boys. It's just like, and nothing makes my weekend better than to see, uh, oh, oh, and not to mention, and see Tom get his ass smack paws because that bum ass nigga bummed it up against the Saints. Oh, it's to see all three of y'all go, go down. Oh, such a great feeling. Another one bites the fucking dust. Niggas is bombed. Tom Brady, I told you. You you back at Michigan. I'm putting a little B-hex on you, nigga. You back to the Michigan days. Fucking back up finna come take your spot in no time. Don't think we forgot you used to be share time. It wasn't a share time. It was a share time. Bitch ass nigga. Fuck out of here, man. Niggas is out here catching the Roni. College SEC niggas said we got to cancel the four, the two most important games of our season because niggas got that Roni. Y'all niggas not going to understand. I was just watching, uh, who was that, Florida? Florida and, and Georgia playing. Nigga, it looked like it was 20,000 motherfuckers in the, seat, in the seats, bro. Y'all niggas don't give a fuck. Niggas out there with masks with the nose out. It's like wearing a condom with the dick out. You got the condom on your balls, 40-year-old version style. Bum ass niggas. Man, but this has been another motherfucking episode of the greatest, the dopest, the wisest, the smartest sports commentary in under 10 minutes.
We'll see you fucking next time.